and his opponent, an absolute genius with a cue in his hand. Some of his snooker at this tournament has been sublime. You'd never know he'd been away for 11 months. Winner of 24 ranking event titles in all. If this is to be his swan song, he wants to bow out in style. So please welcome the defending world champion, Blink and you'll miss him, the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> So here we go. Remember, it's Judd Trump who leads the career head-to-heads by five wins to four, although Ronnie won their last meeting back in 2012. It's the best of 33 frames. This is the second session. Good morning to Stephen Hendry then and to John Virgo. Morning, John. Morning, Jason. Morning, everybody. What an atmosphere we've got here. Ten o'clock in the morning, Sheffield. And there's excitement in the air. This is the second away, of the four sessions, and a big one this, Stephen, I believe. So I think the judge got to hang on in there. Yeah, absolutely, John. I think the first couple of frames in any match are important, but especially against a Sullivan. But as I was saying at the top of the show, so impressed with Judge yesterday. 4-1. Look like Ronnie might be starting to run away with it. But his character, focus, determination, not to let Ronnie get away was tremendous. Yeah, just looking at the pot success, 94% Ronnie, below 90% for Judd, so that just endorses what you say. He did very well to level those first eight frames. Long pot success, that's pretty good from both players. safety. Well, that's very low on Ronnie's part. Not much better on Judd's. Ronnie turning down the chance of a pot on that long red. Good safety shot that from Joe. I think what you also said at the top of the show is true that Judd's realised that you just can't win by potting ball. In fact, there's only one player I've ever seen done that, and that was yours truly. And I'm not saying that just because you're here. But uh, you've got to play decent safety. And that's a mistake from Ronnie. Now he can take this red on for the pink into the right center. Doesn't look like he's leaving much on. Should he miss it? Only perhaps the red that he's playing. But well, no, he loves to pot these and screw the cue cu back all the way back up the table. Oh, that doesn't fill you with much confidence when you miss your first long ball by that distance. No, and more so that he wasn't trying to do a lot with the cue ball. He was trying to hold it there for the pink. I suppose we can forgive him, but he's been on the practice table probably for an hour this morning, so he'd have been knocking in a few of those. When he's trying to get this cue ball in behind the green, he needs to cover the red in the balk end. Well, he has covered the red in the pot again, but he's left this pot on. Now you see it. Thin cut, but it's possible. Well, too thin. It's amazing, isn't it? As you say, he has been on a practice table. He was in there when I was there at the top of the show, and it's amazing how different it is out here. As soon as you get into the bear pit, pots just don't look the same. There it is. It's absolutely 
Well, we keep going on about the atmosphere. Well, what a mistake that is from Ronnie. What a mistake that is. Looked a simple snooker behind the yellow. He's left the red on. Well, that's a gift to the chance. That cue ball needs to slow up, though, if he's going to be on a colour. Needs to slow up. Well, he's only going to get the one point, but no prizes for guessing what's going to happen next. Judge on one. Only the one, but Ronnie will do very well now to get this safe, trying to escape from the snooker. I mean, the obvious red you'd like to lay on is the one that's closest to the left corner pocket, but how do you get there? The blue and pink in the middle of the table, the twice across doesn't look as though it's on. He's in a spot of bother here, and it's all because he didn't get the snooker behind the yellow. Yeah, at this level of snooker, you've got to keep your unforced errors to an absolute minimum. One mistake may seem unimportant at the time, but it can change matches. Well, he's going to have to hit this absolutely inch perfect. Absolutely inch perfect. What a line. What a line. Brilliant shot. That blue and pink in the middle of the table must have looked like footballs to him. But he found the gap, and he couldn't have done much better than that. <coughs> well, Jude, sort of half-hearted attempt at the pot, but the one thing he should have been certain of is getting that cue ball back to the ball cushion. He's left Ronnie a long red on here. To say, half-hearted attempt, more concerned with getting the cue ball at the table, but didn't get it far enough. Well, it was close, and Ronnie would have expected, if he got close to the jaws, that the red had stayed at this end of the table. Amazingly enough, it's run up and left you at an easy starter. Just over screwed for the blue, but he's got pink as second option. This is where, Eight. if Judd wants to win this match, I feel he has to be so strong. So Sullivan, he has to be winning frames from these visits, the first visits in every frame. It's okay winning frames in bits and pieces, but if he's winning these frames in, in these visits, it's really putting pressure on Ronnie. Yellow. Playing the yellow. He'd like to get on that red that's just around the black spot. Why he went back up for blue or bulk colour before because he wants to remove this red before he gets the black and he's absolutely in perfect. Could not have put that better if he'd have placed it with his hand. Eleven. It's a good chance now. Eighteen. Nineteen. 
just not run far enough. Thank you, ball to travel another three or four inches so he could just stand in for the black off this red. Never guaranteed perfect position when you're having to play cannons. Should be on the black or pink here though. Yes, but not perfect on the pink. Slightly hampered. Don't think it's there. I don't think it's there. It just shows you he played the cannon. Unlucky to be hampered. And a tricky pink. And to me, that's the difference between the two players. I think in amongst the pink and black run, he's so much more pinpoint with his position. The reds were perfect there. Judge shouldn't have been out of position. As I said before, crucial that he takes those chances, I think. One. Ronnie came to the table, 28 points behind. Judge will be thinking that Miss Pink may have cost him this frame. And the way the, the reds are situated be a brave man to bet against Ronnie winning Eight. the frame at this visit. Still got to be done, first frame in the morning. But usually Nine. so good in these situations. His touch around the, the black spot area is, is just fantastic. And as you say, Stephen, he always seems to get just the, night, the right angle on the colour to play on the okay. red and then just got that lovely natural touch when he's in amongst the balls. 17. 20. Well, be a little bit myth that he's not on the red to the left corner but he's okay he's got this one to the right corner up for the pink shouldn't be a problem obviously with the pink being over the pocket and he's got a fair enough angle this pink now will put him three points clear and with these reds as i say in the middle of the table in ideal situation these reds that are remaining with colors will be Perfect. enough to win the frame. Thirty-two. Thirty-eight. Forty five. Forty-six. Once again, perfect angle on the black. He's one of those players, Ronnie, when he's in full flow. That Fifty. Anyone could say, well, I could have potted those balls. That's how 54. easy he makes it look. But that's all about his cue ball control. It's pink to go 32 <coughs> points in front, so the pink and the last red to clinch the frame and punish Judd for not making the most of his opportunity.
32 ahead, 35 remaining. Pot this red goal, 33 ahead, with just 27 remaining. That's the clincher. Good stuff, though. 16. Yeah, Ronnie's just done here what you would expect him to do. You give him easy chances, he's going to clear up. 65. That's why it's, I was saying it's so important for Judd to try and take the, the first visit he gets in every frame, win the frames early. 68. The stranger would have been nice to see if Judd won the first frame, just to see Ronnie's reaction. He hasn't been behind in this tournament yet. 72. Seventy-seven. Thank you. Well, what a start. What an ordinary frame that was. Ronnie O'Sullivan was run off the hook a little bit. He missed the snooker he should have got. Good Trump then got a great chance. Mr. Pink in the middle. And that was all it took as Ronnie finished the frame off for the break of 90. He's back in front again at 5-4. Yeah, and it's a funny thing about snooker, isn't it? When you get in amongst the balls, and the balls were nicely spread, he did very well to get position on the black, and then all of a sudden, he just under-hit this, and it sort of snowballed. Yeah, he, he plays this black, and possibly viewers watching will think, well, he's, he's, he's on this red to the left corner. But it was so important to get the cue ball high on that red. There's Hawkeye showing you where he should have been. And then, then it's easy, as we were talking about Ronnie. Ronnie's always perfect every single time when he's in the balls. He's, done, he's not having to play shots like this where you're leaving your position to chance a lot of the time. And you could say it's slightly unfortunate there, Judd, that he leaves himself hampered by the red, but but that's what happens when you're not in perfect position. Yeah, on a good day, the cue ball would have finished in the him between the two reds and he could have got his hand on the tail but striking down and if anything it probably just drifted to the near jaw but there is a slight nap on these tables so that can happen frame 10 judd trump to break needs his cue ball to get behind the yellow red to the left corner but it's, it's not a natural angle just to follow through and get the cue ball around the back of the black back up to the bulk end you may even choose to play this really positively for the black to the left corner you know, he's looking at the angle if he plays that shot he's got to get it yeah if he plays the one left corner he's going to have to play with a lot of pace I'm just wondering what sort of a potting angle he's got the one to the right corner but no, he's getting down to play this. As I say, striking down, plenty of pace, got to be very accurate. Got to be very accurate with that type of shot. And he's not going to get away with it. He's left the red on. He was disappointed there, but this is always a tough shot. One of those, if you just roll in them in, Seems to be a little bit more accurate, but striking down from that distance, queuing's got to be absolutely perfect. Unwanted kiss on the well. yellow, but no harm done. You may even see Judd go into the pack here. You never normally waste any time. He's got a perfect angle in the green. Trust to play for the open red. The black does pot to the left corner, but he'll have to leave the cue ball low <coughs> on it.
Fine. Didn't want to risk playing for the black, so he's now left himself this blue. He'd love to get on the red that's immediately above the black. Well, the pink goes. Oh, well, that'll help him get on that red. And now in potting this red, he can clear the black for both corners. Eleven. Twelve. Now I suggest he'll be into the bunch of reds here. Lovely angle in the black. And a good chance of being on one of the loose reds. Well, he's chosen to play for this red to clear the black into both pockets first. But he'll want to go into the pack and keep 19. that loose red. That's below the pack. So it's nice to have that insurance. Yeah, you were right there. He would have gone into the cluster, but he just wanted to clear that red to make the black available. So now into him and just watch the reaction. He's very good at this shot, as Ronnie is. Lots of bottom, lots of follow through, and watch the reaction of the cue ball. Well, he just stunned it in just to release one red. So he's keeping it tight. He, he may not get a better opportunity than that to open the reds. No, I'm surprised he didn't go in with more power. I think sometimes you play with, with bottom of the white, the cue ball goes forward first. Perhaps he thought he didn't have the absolute perfect angle, but surprised he didn't go in with more pace. So now I'll be thinking, pop this red to the middle and get a nice angle on the blue, but he's not perfect on this red. And he's got a kick, he's jumped up immediately. So that middle pocket is proving to be his nemesis. That was the pocket he missed the pink in. And it looked like it just squared up, didn't it? In fairness to Judd. There's the kicks. Judd Trump seven, Ronnie's not had one kick. Something to do with the queuing, maybe? There was a theory a few years ago One. that kicks were brought on sometimes by just not particularly <coughs> striking the ball and keeping the cue parallel with the table. I, I certainly believe that a lot of kicks are caused by if you don't have a pure strike on the cue ball. I'm not saying that wasn't by judge because that was just a, an easy follow through. That was, that was unlucky. A lot of kicks are caused by Six. not following through the cue ball. That was a nice shot there. Bit unlucky not to be on a red. Managed to get absolute full ball contact on the first red in the pack. Yeah, he did well to go into the reds there, Ronnie, being so close to blue. So, just to safety, just got to be careful he doesn't leave a, a long pot on for Judd. He's played that well. What a good shot that is. To cover the dangerous red, although the one he's played has just come across and may be in a possible position. There's the, the red on the left hand side covered, but this one second from the left will go. So, in the part of the game that Judd's yesterday was, was so impressive coming from 4-1 down he's, he never missed a long pot that I can remember it's not quite on this morning yet so yeah, well missing the pink in the first frame and then having that bad contact on the red there just, <coughs> just dents your confidence slightly and it's all about confidence he's really got to believe that he can beat Ronnie O'Sullivan I've no doubt he does but <coughs> That first frame will have been a little bit of a, a sickness for him. This was the one that cost him the first frame. Yeah, I mean, last night after the our session finished and this morning, yeah, Judd's focus would have been, or certainly my focus would have been, win this first frame. 
you've won the last three frames of the last session, win this first one, really keep the pressure on O'Sullivan. So that's why it's so disappointing that he didn't capitalise on that first chance in the first frame. The secret is to put the disappointment behind you and look forward. But at the moment, the long pot's not going in now. Is he going to leave this red or is he going to bounce enough? Is he going to bounce or be left? He's left it. It cuts this. Well, I'd be disappointed, Ronnie, to have missed that. And he may be saved by the blue here. He has been. Just get to the side cushion and have judged that well. Good shot. And now a frame winning opportunity. That red wasn't right over the pocket. That was very well judged from Judd. And now what a chance to win the frame. Five. Six. that nicely. 30. Finished a bit low on the black. Had to play the cannon. Fourteen. Twenty one. Twenty-two. Twenty-nine. Was to go fifty-nine points in front with fifty-nine remaining. So just Perfect. the colour to leave Ronnie needing two snookers. But there you see it, 64 ahead, 59 remaining. 35. Two snookers needed. So I would think Ronnie would play on if Jude didn't knock a red in here. Judd Trump, 35. So it's a good lead, but Ronnie's coming back to the table. Two snookers needed, but if he doesn't get them, It'll be all square again. He's just got to keep his concentration here, Judd Trump. Well, he needs two snookers. Balls are quite well placed. Doesn't like Ronnie get in and get a chance to pop three or four of these reds with blacks. Well, 
it's a shot he felt that might give him half a chance in the frame if it had gone in. He wasn't far away with it, in all honesty. If this red goes in, Ronnie won't bother carrying on. Oh. I thought he may have just dropped it into the middle pocket, but playing it as a shot for nothing. But Judd knows the one more red and that's frame over. Pink's okay. One. Pink's not bad at all. If he pots the pink, then he'll still only need the two snookers. I say only, but at least there's a chance. Where's the yellow ball going? Seven. Eight. We'll get one more red if he can uh, off the black. Can't afford a pink anymore. He's just working that out. When he pots the black, he's got 49 points behind with 43 remaining. Oh, wow. Trying to pinch but something there eight. in potting the black. He'd like to concede, I'm sure. But uh, the etiquette of the game is don't concede when your opponent's, when it's your opponent's turn at the table. But even if this red doesn't go in, Ronnie won't bother. Frame conceded. Yes, Danger. it was enough for Ronnie. He had a chance, maybe a slim chance once in the snookers, but he didn't do it, so Judd Trump didn't really do that frame in style, but at least he's won it, and that's the most important thing. We're all square again. Five all. So, once again there, R Ronnie had a chance. Judd didn't, he was unlucky. Now, this cut, Stephen, to me, I mean, I know you're going to trust to look a little bit where the cue ball's going to finish, but the main thing is pot the red. I just felt he tried to do too much with the cue ball. Yeah, and, and Ronnie's hitting, you know, it's actually hitting down on the cue ball there, so if you are putting a little bit side, you're actually going to push the cue ball into the red. So I would have much preferred just to, as you say, just get the cue ball parallel, just play with playing ball, make sure of the pot. Obviously, you're trusting a little bit to luck with position, but uh, yeah, it, it was a it was a careless miss, really. Yeah, and Jude uh, took advantage of it. I thought he was going to be snookered by the blue, came off the side cushion, and of course, just added to the lead he already had. Very interesting when you look at the stats. Jude's still well below what's required in the pot success rate, and for someone who builds his game around potting, that is low, 86%. Ronnie still on the 93% mark. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. But it's all about taking your chances. This game always has been. Well, he needs the green to come to his rescue here. That's not his best break-off shot, and it hasn't done. Find a good line with this cue ball. There's a, a red just above the black he'd love to be on. I'm just looking at his body language. Is he on it? Six. There's three reds. The left hand side one, if he could get through to that. No, he's just run a fraction too far. If it had stopped a fraction shorter, he'd. He'd have also had a possibility of this red. Can't be playing the pot on here. So just to safety. Judd Trump's it. Wasn't an easy opportunity, obviously. 
good opening red, but wrong side the blue and only a pinpoint positional shot to play. He can forgive himself for that. Escape, it's not touching. Referee Michaela Tab would have declared it if it had been. <coughs> Has it run far enough? Ronnie can just get to the edge of this yellow, uh, this red. He's got to be careful. He doesn't knock this red. Oh, he's got it much too thick. He's left it over the middle. Unless the blue comes to his rescue. No, that was a poor shot. His safety has been poor though this morning so far, hasn't it? He's not really getting that cue ball back to the boat cushion at all. Sent a lot of shots thick. Needs an angle in the blue. One. And that looks absolutely perfect. Smash into the pink here. Six. Could have worked out better. He's got a red on, but he uh, got a bit to do with the cue ball. Seven. Yeah, couldn't play to go past the blue there as we see this with the split here. Played perfectly. Couldn't play to go past the blue because the cue ball probably would have gone in off here. No, just having a look to well. see if he could get position on the black here. It's quite a tricky one. I'm not quite certain if he doesn't play for the black, what the colour he can play on. But he's got to judge this well if he's playing for the black in the opposite corner. Well, he's just about on it. I don't think that was his play, but he's just about on it, but it's tricky. This is not straightforward by any means. Your, the pocket isn't in, in your eye line when you're actually down in the shot. 20. say after potting such a good black he was very unfortunate to finish tight under the cushion but I did expect him to pot it didn't have to do much with the cue ball
great asset that Ronnie has, being able to play left-handed. Seven. The problem Ronnie's got is the black is not available into either corner pocket, so he's going to have to work his way around that. Fourteen. Fifteen. It's not going to be that easy now because he's not screwed back far enough for the blue. He did a better angle than this. Yeah, that was a, a rare, careless positional shot. Thank you. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Twenty-one. That's amazing when you play one bad positional shot. It's sometimes so hard to get back into perfect position. a good shot to get on the next red. And he may be on this red. It's amazing for someone who plays left-handed a lot how good he is with the rest. Nope, much too thick. Roddy O'Sullivan, 27. Well, he goes back to his seat, one point in front. This frame very much still on. That'll irritate Ronnie, though. He would have expected to win the frame from that visit. <coughs> well, I would be disappointed there, Jude. That was half a chance. And then sometimes that's all you expect at this level. Just trying to whirl Seven. that cue ball another couple of inches down the table, but it looks perfect to me. If he's straight, yeah, he's fine. Eight. Left him a nice angle, so in potting the black here, just release these two reds that are just below the black. You just have to nestle into them and just bring them into play. Hmm. A little bit disappointed with that. He should have caught the join of the two. Fifteen. He's slightly hampered here. I'm expecting to miss it, but it's trickier. Trickier than it should have been, and it caught him out. I'm surprised he didn't try and drop it in dead weight, but he obviously felt the cue ball would finish near the side cushion. So here's another opportunity for Judd, but One. he's just the wrong side of black. He's going to have to play for the red on the right-hand side of the table here. Trump one. I'm gonna go up very quickly, Judd. Must now black. As if it was a kick. I don't know if it was a kick or not. I don't think so. <coughs> Bit of tension out there, John. Very much so. I think what always adds to the tension in this type of match, there's so much respect, isn't there, from either player to each other. And it just adds that little bit of spice to it. The 
Yeah. So I admit at the moment this is the match that everybody has been looking forward to. They played a match in, I think it was China last year, where Judd run out a 4-3 win, and it was one of those matches where you just wanted it to be a longer match. It, such was the standard and the quality that they gave. And, and we've got them now on the big stage, the one table at the Crucible. Couldn't be better. Good shot from Ronnie. That now puts him 16 points in the lead. So it's still not a straightforward run to the line, this. Played the cannon on the right red, so he would be Six. kissing both reds off at the same shot. A little bit unlucky, not to be on an easier red than this. I don't think he even could take the pot on now. Yeah, as you say, absolutely perfectly at this, and he's unlucky that the kiss off the first red give him too thick a contact. He can pot this now, but didn't bother. Ronnie O'Sullivan thought it was too risky. He missed a red in that pocket in the last frame. It cost him. <laughs> One spitting. <laughs> well, this red is left to the corner, but... I think the Brown has come to the rescue. It has. safety shot from Ronnie. You may think he was a little bit lucky that the black came across and stopped the path of the the red, but there's still another one. If he can just get past the pink, I think this one cuts. Played it nicely. Played it very nicely. And funnily enough, when he does doesn't hit the ball too hard. You just feel he's got so much more control over his, his potting. <coughs> Usually yellow. best way here. Off the yellow, nestled behind the brown. He's used both balls and that's a good shot. So Ronnie with a slight problem here. You've got to be a little bit careful when you play this shot that you, you don't run past the red you're trying to hit. Well, he misjudged that by, by a long way. Got Trump six. <laughs> that would be my idea of playing it. I mean, it could be on the way to that, you could kiss the red near the black. But we know how many points can be given away with these misses, so you've got to be careful. Ronnie. He's got to put a lot more left-hand side on this shot. Well played. Well, if he's covered both reds, that's an excellent safety from Judd. And I think I saw Ronnie mouth the words. Good shot. Having to swerve this, but he need, didn't need a kiss on the pink. Yeah, 
Well, he's played it slowly. He played it slowly. He couldn't risk playing it hard because the red could have gone over the corner and the kiss on the pink would have left you the chance. But at the moment, just calling the shots in this vital safety exchange. Class. <coughs> mm. Well, it's a bit unfortunate, and just had a shot. Judge raised his eyebrows, as to say. And that seems to be my form this morning, but just going to take the, the bad rubs with the good ones. He would like to stun the cue ball off the side cushion for the black into the right corner. But if he leaves any angle on the black, he's not going to be able to play for the red, so he needs to get that cue ball tight on this black cushion. Yeah, that's the line you're referring to, Stephen. Well, the one thing you've got to do, of course, is pot the red. Well, he's got away with it, but I'll tell you what, he'll be snooking next time he comes to the table. He can bank on that. like to have pushed one of those reds further over to the table. This is not difficult for Ronnie just to lie on the, the bottom red, the one that's closest to the cushion. Just to be careful he doesn't nudge the red along the cushion and leave a pot on, but should be able to play this dead weight. Yeah, you would think. There's not a gap around the red, so you it wants to get in between the red and the cushion. It's made a little bit more difficult. He's having to use the spider because he can't reach across. It's a touchy one, this. Couldn't have played it better. But now the initiative back with Judd. And as I say, this very important safety battle. Well, that's a poor, poor effort. I mean, 10 points. Oh, sorry, 14 points behind. The last thing Judd needs is the pink to come safe on the side cushion. That takes a little bit of pressure off Ronnie now. It's just those careless shots that, I don't know, it's always been the way Potters break, Bill. I remember Jimmy White used to do a lot of that. Just give the safety no concentration. He should have had the upper hand, but he's not. Yeah, I was very good with that myself, but that was an excellent safety shot. Last thing I want to do there is catch that red thick. That was well played. Yeah, he did very well to hit it that thin, didn't he? A bit thicker, he knocked it over the corner. I don't know whether this red in the middle of the table is one you can take on. I don't think there's an in-off on, but as we come up to three hours, but it's one of them, if you hit it too thick, the red will go back up with the white. Well, in the end, he didn't 
make any attempt at a pot. And I don't blame him because it was never going to be a shot for nothing. Reminds me of Alex Higgins, John, the way Ronnie plays safety shots. He never ever plays a safety shot with playing ball. He's always looking to Thank create you. something, take the cue ball around angles. Yeah, on, the, on these super fine cloths, it's quite difficult sometimes to judge the, uh, the effect of the side. But he did get the snooker. But Judd will be pleased with that able to swerve it round and the black has blocked the pocket. You just get the feeling though and what we've seen over the years that this Ronnie is just well that's an example. Took the words right out of my mouth. And it's just wonderful safety and just got us in a spot of bother here. He can't rest on one of these reds because he'll leave the other one to either corner. <coughs> Is it going to have to be a little bit of hit and hope? Yeah, we know if he doesn't hit it, it's, it's an automatic miss, so he can't just. Yeah, he's going to have to make sure he hits the red. Already 14 points behind, so he can't afford lots of misses. Well, he's looking at the, the way that he could possibly play it and not leave a chance for his opponent. It's very difficult, though. If he could judge that and Ness look to that red, then he'd be okay. But this is a big ask. Now, he went for the hit and hope more than anything. Oh, he's not got a bad cue ball. It could be worse. This red is no gimme. You would think, though, this red for the frame, if this goes in, he'll be on the black. It was an easy shot, wasn't it? Well, that was wonderful. Wonderful. Tough pot and just absolutely smashed it in and brought the other red into play. in the blue and that will put him 28 points in front which is 27 remaining and I think it's all been down this frame to Ronnie's safety play 14. just at this vital stage of the frame he produced 16. some beautiful safety that just forced a mistake in the end from Judd 19. I don't think the table's playing 20. too good this morning. I think there's been a few bounces, a few kicks. The players are, I don't think, are too happy with what's the reactions of some of the shots. Well, I did the uh, first yeah. session of Ricky Wolden and Barry Hawkins last night, and... Uh, my co-commentator, Willie Thorne, thought the table played dreadful. I don't know why it should be. Is it in? Uh, Ronnie's not bothered about the black. Very, very interesting frame. And Ronnie there, just having the edge in the safety exchange, puts him in front once again. It's now 6-5. Yeah, when you get near 
the end of a frame and there's only a few reds left on, safety then becomes so, in, so important. And we just saw a few examples here, Stephen, from Ronnie. It, it's, it's incredible that he, he puts so much thought into the shot and where he wants to lead the white. Here we go, to, to control the side there to get off the two cushions behind the brown and yellow. Whereas Judd seems to be just happy to get the cue ball in. And he, I'm not saying he plays some great safety as well, Judd. But Ronnie always seems to be looking for that exact toughest place on the table to make it really awkward for Judd Trump. And this was the, the shot that finally won him the frame. Again, control on the side of two cushions perfectly. Yeah, and of course, when you're in that position, I was saying at the time, almost impossible. So Judd, maybe not so much in a hit and hope. He didn't hit it that hard, just hoping to catch that red a little bit thinner and send the cue ball back up the tail. But he caught it thick, but it wasn't an easy pot, but Ronnie made light of it. So this match, living up to all the billing, will be a mid-session interval after this frame. Will Ronnie have a two-frame advantage, or will we still be all square? Thank you, frame 12, Judd Trump to break. Judd Trump breaks off in frame 12 and as yet, which is an amazing start as far as I'm concerned, there's been no century break yet in this match. Yep. You wouldn't have bet on that. That's the highest break, 72 Judd and 90 Ronnie. Wow, wonderful shot. Wonderful shot. And you only get position on blue or bought colour. If you have absolutely hit this perfectly and right in the heart of the pocket, a nice bit of topspin on the cue ball, do what he likes here. Could play the green, go into the side of the cluster with pace. Depends how he sees it. Just deciding to play for a loose red. Yeah, he won't be wanting to disturb any of the pack at this time because the two reds above the black could easily just tie up the black by going into the reds here so if you want to clear two or three of them reds away from the black area first five I'm saying that he's got a good angle in the blue but again I'd be surprised to see him going into the pack here Well, I think in the end, the reason he went into the pack, when he potted the red to go up for the blue, he just didn't hit the red in the middle of the pocket. He left himself an angle on the blue, and he was sort of saying, well, you know, you might not get a better chance than this, but the black and those reds around, it never moves. So it's still not an easy chance, this. But it's a chance. Pink obviously pots to the right corner. I think if it goes back in its spot, it'll still be available to that right corner. Eleven. Judge that because when the pink is back on its spot, he won't be on the red to the corner. Now whether he was thinking of screwing back a little bit further than that, I don't know. But maybe he's trying to screw back a bit further and leaving himself to the red to the left corner, or maybe play for the red to the right corner, whatever. He's misjudged it. Be a brave man to take this red on to the far right corner. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 70. Didn't want to take any chances. He'd been very badly hampered to play that red. 
that's in the bulk end, so just playing a containing safety, treating Judd with every respect, and so he should. Now, if he could get this cue ball down near the bulk cushion, now, if he can hit it thin enough and leave a place and use the green as a snookering ball, then he'll, he'll go back to the bulk end. That's all he's concerned about, the red that's in that half of the table. And, of course, he doesn't want to leave this one too adjacent to the corner pocket, so he may use the brown as the blocker. a little bit pacey and he's left this red it's cuttable but it's not easy and you wonder where the cue ball is going to travel yeah he could choose to play this red to this right corner and it would be the only red that he would leave but it's such a tough pot that you fancy you would leave it you missed it. But it's hard to see an easy safety shot. Sometimes the pot's the easier shot. He's taking it on. Great shot. Fantastic cue that was. Yes. Ronnie, to me, and that safety was caught between two stools, really. He didn't whether to use the green as the blocker, but then he thought, if I hit the red thin, I'll leave the one near the corner. So he tried to use the brown as the, the covering ball, and he didn't get it. And you don't have to leave Judd Trump much of an opportunity for him to knock one in, and that was a tremendous Thanks. opening red. Yeah, when you're digging down in the cue ball here, to be able to, it was a dead straight pot. So cue has to be so pure. That's that shot you were referring to before, Stephen, isn't it? They're playing it off two cushions, but they just don't seem to be getting any pace in the cue ball. Being left-handed, the pink's not a bad second prize. And he's on the red to the right corner. So this is a decent chance. Thirteen. Just with the black being slightly tied up makes it a little bit more awkward. Fourteen. Got to keep finding good angles on the colours to get on the next red. Straight away, then he wasn't happy with the contact. A little bit of a, a bounce. I can't believe he's completely out of position here. Surely this red goes. Yes, he just wanted a bit more angle on it, I think. A bit more angle, it'd have been an easy case of stunning up for the, the pink. But maybe you could cannon, there's two reds to the left of the pink, cannon the right hand side one, leave yourself on the pink in the middle. 28. Well, I decided <coughs> to do it without any help, and he's played it nicely. 17 points to lead now. But still a little 13. bit of work to do. 35. A little bit shorter pace. Yeah, I don't know if he can get enough check side, left hand side on this cue ball. He might have to go in between, in and out of bulk, in between the green and brown here for a red to the right corner. Didn't 
didn't get into the cue ball enough. So that's Hard a disappointing end to this chance, really, if he doesn't find a pot here. Yeah, looking at those two reds, just left the pink. Maybe the left hand one will go to the right corner. Oh, it does. So he'll play that. <coughs> Be taking the cue ball back to the ball, Ken, but he'd love to knock this in, keep this break going. Oh, but if you're not going to knock it in, yeah, you don't want it hanging in the jaws. Close, maybe too close if you're going to miss it. One. No, that's a poor shot by Ronnie. We have plenty of room either side of the pink there. He's taking this on though into the yellow pocket. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. Well, he didn't hold back on it, did he? Saw it as a frame winning chance when he came to the table, and you could say slightly pushed the balls out. Well, surely. Has he covered? Well, he got away with it. He's covered the path to the red that was possible. Very fortunate there. I wonder what Judd Trump's thinking <laughs> just now. <laughs> we don't want to know. There you go, and then what, once that cue ball had bounced, I'd just assume he'd left the red to the left corner, but he's nestled on the red and left nothing. Well, sometimes the balls don't run your way, but don't let it get to you. Just play the, the right shot. Your opponent can't keep getting away with it. Because that's what you feel sometimes. Every time you go to the table, your opponent's had a bit of luck. But believe me, all the years I've been sat in this commentary box, it definitely evens out. Yeah, especially over a four-session match. Sometimes players don't choose to see their own good fortune. And he has done more sort of head shaking and smiling in this match than I've seen him in the past. Judd, he normally shows no emotions. And that's maybe a sign of what this match means to him, the pressure of the situation. There you go, another little expression there. You don't normally see anything from Judd. off the brown has made this a better safety shot than it looks as though it was going to be originally there you go just can't get through to that red on the left hand side of the table he's looked at those two reds just above the black but he's got to be careful of that red just to the left of those or right of them now as we look that he doesn't run into that one if he's playing this he's got to catch it very thin Well, he decided to stun round, and I'll tell you what, he's made a good job of that. He's made a very good job of that. The red that he's gone into could have finished adjacent to the middle, but fair play. Well, he's really taking this on. This is a big shot. That was a big shot, and if he kisses a pink, he's going to leave Judd with a good chance here. Ronnie goes back to his seat with a 23-point lead, but not for long. One. 
one. Six. Jud was just having a look where he'd want to leave when he realised the, the red he's on now. He's got to play for the black this time. Once again, he's Seven. jumped up as though he's not happy with the contact. Well, I mean, if he's thinking he's getting lots of kicks, I think he needs to start possibly getting the cue ball clean before he plays his follow-through shots. I know he likes to get on with it, but... Him. Now, whether the fact that he got the heavy contact and he wasn't on the black as he wanted to be affected him. It wasn't a tough black, though, was it? I don't think his, uh, his focus was back on the shot. I think he was still thinking where he should have been with the cue ball if he didn't get the contact. You know, we say that this is a, a marathon of the mind, the World Championship, and... A lot of it is all about concentration and never take your eye off One. the ball, no pun intended, for a moment. So this black and one more red and Ronnie will go to the mid-session interval with a two-frame advantage. Just take your pick Eight. time, he's got one to the left corner, he's slightly hampered. He's not hampered on this one. It's just off the cushion, so it makes it missable. These are not certainties, these, but he only needs the red. Sorry, my mistake. Nine. He needs the red, the black, and the last red, funnily enough. Sixteen. So this is the... Tricky red, just off the cushion. No. no. Just off the cushion. It went into the... It's amazing the difference these shots make. If that red's tight in the cushion, as you say, John, it's an easy shot. Chad's mm, played a poor positional shot there. It's definitely edgy out there this morning. Yeah, it seems every time he plays a shot, he's jumping up, not happy. <coughs> he can get on the, the yellow. I think this is probably the only place it goes in the same pocket he's potting the green. But there's a little bit of pressure on this now. And he doesn't look comfortable. He's 15 points to lead. So he needs the green, green and then yellow and green. <laughs> Played it well. Just has to judge the cannon on the pink here. Doesn't want to snooker himself on the green. Thanks. The green to go 23 points in front with 22 remaining. so far, but uh, that won't bother Jib Trump. He's been very tense out there. And he's hanging on to Ronnie's shirt tails. And that's, 13. I think, what we've all agreed that he needs to do. Stay with Ronnie. 
Don't give Ronnie too much leeway. So Your that'll be 30. enough to go to the mid-session interval. And, and they're still all square. You can't pick anything between them. Frame again that could have gone either way. But Judd Trump levels. It's six all. Just out of interest, what did you do in the mid-session interval? Just sat down, had a cup of tea, read a paper, relaxed. Just chilled out, basically. Good man. I'll let you go back then to the commentary box. Thank you very much, Stephen. Let's hand you back to John Virgo. Thank you, Jason. And it's Ronnie who breaks off in his own inimitable style, left-handed. He's always explained to me that he feels when he plays left-handed, he gets more side on the ball, but he's at that little bit too thin. That's why the cue ball's not close to the ball cushion. So no pot was left, not one that should be risk taking on, but he's got that with safety a little bit too thin. So no real pressure on Ronnie here. Just coming down to see if there's any plants to the the right corner. He'll be very, very <coughs> aware of not knocking one towards the right corner. That's what he's looking at. did go towards the corner and he didn't hit it well that's why he caught the blue first chance Judd Trump caught this much too thin which is why he caught the blue but he knew there was a red going towards the pocket the problem Judd <coughs> has here he's easy enough pot it's just judging the line of the cue ball now you can either play this with a lot of pace and career into the reds and trust the luck or play it with a little bit of left hand side just to straighten the cue ball up back for the bought colours or the blue. Well he's found a gap there that he didn't expect. He didn't expect to find that. One. And he's finished on nothing. purposely tried to go into the reds. If he just flicks that red chance, he could have retained position on the black. The obvious shot here looks to come off the bolt cushion first and nestle up behind the green. Green. Well, he decided to one. not come off the bolt cushion. He's left <coughs> an edge of a red here. I don't understand why he didn't concentrate all out there for the snooker. It does surprise me. time he's on a color yeah played positively there's no safety in his mind there hopefully getting the red that's closest to the black spot here this looks pretty good oh it's just pulled up a little bit short three Handy to get the blue back on its spot. Still needs a precise positional shot here. In fact, he thinks the brown offers him the, the 
has a chance of getting position. He's got to come down the right-hand side of the table, you would have thought. But all the reds look to be covering one another. I think the red immediately to the right of the pink is available to the, the corner. There you see it. And he's nicely on it. He may even be able to run through for the black here. Nine. Decided just to stun it for the pink. Now, I presume the pink spot's available. If it isn't, where does the pink go? Well, it's gone on the black 15. spot. Well, it's still in the open, so no problem. <coughs> He'd have been aware that it wasn't going to get tied up or tie the black up. Of course, if he was to play the black here, that would go up on the blue spot, which wouldn't bother him. But he's nicely on the pink. Decent chance this now. 22. Can he go ahead for the first time in the match? Twenty. For another tough contact there. And I was speaking to Ricky Walden in the practice room, John, at the interval, and he was saying there's a lot of kicks happening out there. Pink. Which sort of emphasises my point I made earlier, then perhaps judges start getting the cue ball cleaned before he plays these shots. Thoughts of that heavy contact didn't knock him out of position. Well, once Sorry. again, he's jumped up. Wasn't happy the way the cue ball ran through there. Of course, if it keeps happening, it gets, it gets in your mind that you've just got to give it a little bit extra and then you don't get the kick and you run out of position. I also believe uh, there, there's a new manufacturer of the balls this year, apparently, as well. So some of the players are not happy with the, the balls they're playing with and the unpredictable contacts and reactions of cushions. Well, what there? Well, that was just careless, wasn't it? He was more interested in position. I mean, the pink clearly passed the black. He'd already potted it once. Just took his eye off the pot slightly. Careless mistake. One. Yeah, I don't know if you heard, they were talking in the interval that Judd had been tweeting that it's tough out there. Be interesting to know what he meant by that, whether it's the situation, whether he's not playing well, or that could mean two or three different things, couldn't it really? Yeah. As we see that pink missed again, maybe he was referring to the fact that he wasn't happy with some of the contacts he was getting. But it uh, doesn't get any tougher than the semi-final of the World Championship against one of the greatest talents the game's ever produced. It's meant to be tough, isn't it? Seven. At this stage of the World Championship. Absolutely. He's lost the cue ball there. He was hoping for a thicker cannon on the red. So it could be end of visit unless he wants to take on a very risky bought colour. So I'll be disappointed it came to a premature end, but... He didn't really put him off. That looks a decent safety. And he's so close to the green, he may be only able to hit the red that's on the right-hand side of the table. If that's the case, 
He's got a problem here. He's got a 23 point lead, but in well that that's nowhere near enough. And really, the only safe red on the table is the one he's having to play. Well, he's just coming off the top cushion and going to nestle into it off the top cushion. That's how dangerous he thought it would be, trying to get back to Bork. Just hit nicely. Just the wrong side of the green, trying to nestle in behind it. I think there's a chance of a pot on here. The red that's immediately above the blue. Looks as though he can play that into the right corner. There's a path back to the balk end. And plenty of value should it go in. the pot but he won't be too displeased with where the cue ball is finished. did well to avoid a kiss on the, the other red on the right hand side of the table and he's finished absolutely perfect on this brown. Sure. What a pot this was to take on. And as I say, he did find the path back to the ball end, so he hit it perfectly. Some 11 points behind. 12. unbelievably tense here at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield and that's where we leave our live coverage here on BBC Two but if you want to continue watching the match then why don't you press your red button right now it's also available via the BBC Sports